Hey guys, welcome back to Chloe Jade Booty. So today's video is going to be my nail polish collection. Now I think it's gonna be a pretty long video. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take each brand um, and show you all the polishes that I have for each brand. So let's get to it. Okay, so starting from the left to the right, here I have Sally Hansen's Miracle Cure Strengthener for my nails and I just use this as a base coat and it's really good for my nails because my nails are quite brittle so I just apply this before I apply my nail polish and it works really well for strengthening my nails. It's a really good base coat as well. So next up we have the Essie First Base base coat. I also like that one but I don't use it as much. Then I also have the OPI Peel Off Base Coat called Glitter Off. And basically this is just a base coat that you can peel off. So if you didn't want um, a long manicure, then you can just peel off really easily your polish. And it's also really good for glitter polishes because we all know how much of a nightmare it is to get off glitter polishes. So next up we have the Barry M Base Coat, Top Coat and Nail Hardener in one. So that's pretty good for doing the three things in one. And then we have Essie's Good To Go Top Coat. This is my favourite top coat. This is China Glaze No Chip Top Coat. And I just use that for every um, manicure. I just think it's really good. It really does um, prevent chipping and it does last for about a week, so it's really good. So these two are my favourites. This is my favourite base coat and this is my favourite top coat. So next up we have my OPI collection. Now, as you can see, I have a pretty small OPI collection of nail polishes. Um, but to start with, I have Fearlessly Alice. And this is a really blue, it's actually the color that's on my nails at the minute. It's a really beautiful color, I love it. Then we have One Chic Chick, that's so hard to say. And that's like a yellowy, it's a really pretty color. Then we have It's a Boy, which is a pale blue, it's really subtle, it's a really nice spring colour, I really like that one. And then we have Mini Style, which is a clear polish with um, glitters in it. I think it's like hex glitters. So that's my OPI collection. So next up is my Essie collection. I really like Essie nail polishes. Um, most of the polishes that I have only take one, maybe two coats to apply, so they're really quick and easy and I really like Essie. So starting from the left then, this is Garden Variety. Then we have Naughty Nautical. Um, then also these, these two were part of a collection and this one is called Bikini Sotini. <laughs> Aren't the names just so funny? Then I have Limousine. This is Mademoiselle. This is Madison Averhill. This is Status Symbol and she's Pampered. And I think that my favourite one out of all of these is data symbol. I don't know why, it's just a beautiful colour. It applies in one coat, I think, maybe two if you're really fussy. I just think that Essie is a really, really good uh, nail polish brand. I really like them. So that's my Essie collection. Okay, so next up we have my Avon collection. I really like Avon nail polishes because they are reasonably priced. I think they're about three pounds, three to five pounds per bottle and they're really good nail polishes. There's nothing wrong with the nail polishes at all. They're really lovely. So I've got six Avon polishes. So starting from the left to the right, this is Sheer Shimmer. Then we have Lilac Coral Shimmer. These three polishes have glitters through them and they are gel finished along with this one. This one is Viva Pink. This is Pink Shimmer and On Point Blue. So yeah, I think my favourite one out of all of these is probably the blue one. It's a really um, dark kind of navy kind of blue and it's really pretty on your nails. Okay, so next up we have my Maybelline nail polishes. Um, starting from the left we have Uptown Blue. Then we have Berry Stain. Then Pink in the Park. Nude Rose. Pink Vault. Rose Salsa and Wine Shimmer. So I really like this collection of Maybelline Stu Superstay 7 Days nail polishes. Um, it basically does what it says, you know, they do actually last 7 days, they're really good. And I think they're only about 3 to £5, pounds, um, 
I think that my favourite one is Pink Vault. It's probably the most vibrant colour, it's the darkest colour, it's the easiest to apply and it only takes one coat. So yeah, that's my Maybelline collection. Okay, so next up I have three nail polishes in a collection from Marks & Spencer's. I think they're called Dazzling Nail Colours. This is Bright Coral, Pink Shell and Golden Haze. So those are really pretty colours. And then moving on to my Sally Hansen nail polishes. I have Shiny Penny, Toll Kit I think it says, I don't know. Um, Take the Leap and Pink A Card. Yeah, so those are my Sally Hansen's and Marks and & Spencer's nail polishes. So now I have my Rimmel London nail polishes. Starting from the left, I have Sumptuous Red. Now, it's not red at all, it's purple. It is completely purple. I don't know why it's called red. On the nails, it's purple. But yeah, this is a really cool polish because it's actually a matte polish. And this is the Velvet Matte Collection. I really like this one. It's a really nice matte finish, but it's not red, it's purple. Then we have Peppermint, Show Off. Green with Envy and Rapid Ruby. So yeah, that's my Rimmel London nail polish collection. I don't actually wear Rimmel London nail polishes that much, just this one really. But yeah, I still like them, I still have them in my collection, so yeah. Okay, so next up is my China Glaze collection. And my China Glaze collection is huge, so I'm gonna do a few at a time. These are my darker China Glaze um, shades. So starting from the left are my glitter, China Glaze shades and we have I'm a Go Glitter, Glimmer More, Create a Spark, then we have Put a Bow on It, Lofty Ambitions, Stroll, Life Preserver, Far Out, Tarnished Gold, It's Alive, Don't Be a Lunatic and Public Relations. I'm not going to talk about them too much because I'll be here all day so yeah that's just some of my China Glaze. Okay, so here's some more of my China Glaze collection. Starting from the left, we have Pool Party, Flip Flop Fantasy, Lip Smacking Good, Ahoy, Split Personality, Let's Jam, Fault Line, Crushed Candy, Towel Boy Toy, I'll See You Later, Dorothy Who, and First Make. Okay, and the final part of my China Glaze collection Starting from the left, we have Sun Worshipper, Yellow Polka Dot Bikini, Grass is Lime Greener, Kiwi Cool Adder, I think that's how you say it, I don't know, Fairy Dust and White on White. So that's my China Glaze collection. As you can see, I love China Glaze. <laughs> and then finally, these are my nail polishes that I don't have um, much of each brand in so starting with the left this is picture polish lacquer dome i think that's how you say it then we have zoya destiny these two are orly this is be daring and this is goth and then moving on to these over here these are blue sky gel nail polishes so to use these you need um an led or uv nail lamp and this is the base coat and the top coat and this is BLZ03 and it's kind of like a blue glittery colour. And this is 021 which is a colour change in nail polishes. So it's pink when, you, when your hands are cold and it's white when your hands are warm. So that's it then, that's everything in my nail polish collection. So I will list all of the products that I've mentioned down below in the description box and I will link them to where you can buy them on Amazon too. So if you enjoyed this video, please give me a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more. Thanks for watching guys. Bye!